Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome once again to yet another episode here on Life Signatures Radio. In this uh, episode, we are in a series. We've been talking about disillusionment and we are deep into this series. Disillusionment is when you are discovering that the expectations that you had, the excitement that you had over your purpose pursuit is not necessarily what you're having right now, as in the end is not being justified by the means. So you feel disillusioned and you start asking yourself questions, am I doing the right thing? We see that uh, in history there are some people who doubted. Paul the Apostle had to go back to Jerusalem to ask, am I doing the right thing? He was wondering. Jesus Christ said, God, if it's willing, take this cup of suffering away from me. You know, if it is your will, take this thing away from me. He was disillusioned. John the Baptist sends messengers after proclaiming that Jesus Christ is the Messiah. He sends messengers to them later on when he was in prison and asks, are you the one who was to come? Sometimes in your purpose pursuit as a visionary, you are going to be disillusioned one way or another. So we're looking at at how you can uh, circumnavigate all that stuff and looking at some reasons as to why you get disillusioned so that you can handle them. So in this uh, episode, we are doing the same. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. If we're doing a recap, I've got to tell you that uh, so far we've looked at four or three things that are a reason as to why you might be disillusioned in your purpose pursuit, in your purpose journey. One of the reasons as to why you might be disillusioned with it is because you are not mature. And I keep saying it's not an insult to say this. It is just that you are still growing. And when you're still growing, when you're not seeing the fruits of your labor, it can be a bit discouraging and disillusionment can set in and you can start asking yourself, I'm passionate about this. People cannot see what I'm passionate about. You know, it's because the professionalism has not been added there. The maturity has not been added there. The timing has not been added there. The crafting the message so that it's yours instead of you talking about other people. It's not there yet. You are still immature and therefore you're not seeing the results that you needed. But you will be mature in time. So keep at it. Secondly, the reason as to why you might be disillusioned in your purpose pursuit is that maybe you are not feeling appreciated well enough. And when you're not feeling appreciated well enough, you tend to ask yourself, for what purpose? Honestly, why am I doing this thing and it's not making sense to anybody? It's not transforming anybody. Jesus Christ healed 10 people and only one came to say thank you. And that's the same thing that content creators are going to face. Very many people will, instead of saying thank you, will criticize, you will poke holes in your content. You're not being appreciated and you might be disillusioned. And we looked at uh, how you can be able to handle that in the previous episodes. Thirdly, we say that uh, you might be, you might be disillusioned in your purpose pursuit because you're just tired. You're just literally tired. And therefore, that tiredness co- is causing you to it's, it's causing you to feel like, you know, you are reasoning not in the right mind or in the mi- right mindset. You're having a, a, a skewed mindset, so to speak. And then we are saying, number four, that you might be disillusioned because maybe, maybe you are impatient. This is connected to maturity, actually, and I, I talked about this yesterday. And I say that there are some reasons as to why we are impatient. I looked at some of the reasons and I want us to look at uh, uh, finish that topic today. 
The reason number one why you might be impatient, which is causing to be disillusioned, is that you are focusing on yourself instead of focusing on the transformation that people are supposed to get. You're focusing on where is my money? Show me the money. I was listening to a, a motivational speaker today, uh, quote unquote motivational speaker, Im- image expert, and whatever this uh, person was talking about had a lot of connotation of what she is going to get out of what she's doing. I did not see the connotation of the transformation that she is making in people's lives. That kind of focus of where is it, you know, you're counting heads and seeing that one is a thousand dollars, that one is a thousand dollars, that one is a thousand dollars. You get impatient because you're focusing on yourself instead of focusing on the transformation that people can happen. I mean, it can happen in, in the lives of people. Look at that soul and see the transformation that can happen in their lives instead of looking at that soul and see the $1,000 that are coming out of them. You can get impatient if that is your focus. Number two, you get impatient because you had not had a dry run. You had not had a dry run. What is this dry run? The dry run is basically planning. When you are pursuing your purpose, it's important to have some expectations. We create products, services that we can we can use to interface with people. In fact, people always interface with our purpose through products and services. We create a brand and we, we make it sharp enough to draw our uh, attention to, to people. These processes do not happen overnight. They take time. And it takes time for us to be trusted so that people can entrust us. So if you've not done this, you'll not be expecting things to happen at any point in time. You'll probably be running your purpose on autopilot, so to speak, and by default and not by design. So the more you operate this way, the more you are going to be a candidate of impatience, which was going, which is going to lead you to disillusionment. Remember that. We get impatient at times because we are not fully planned our lives out well. This leads us to be disillusioned. If you've not planned, if not considered, you're going to get disillusioned when things happen. To counter this, you must consummate your actions with planning. In fact, before you can take action, you've got to be a planner. You've got to dry run things. You've got to put them on paper and maybe anticipate this, anticipate that, and and, and so on, and dry run it before you can get started. Otherwise, you just get started. We have no problem taking action. You just get started and taking action. What happens? Something happens out of the blue, which you did not anticipate, you did not expect, and it throws you off balance. And now you're feeling, man, it's not happening. So you get disillusioned. The third reason as to why you might be impatient is because you have so little understanding of maturity of purpose. You do not know what it means. Purpose pursuit is not like a job. It is not on a 30-day incremental periods. Even though a job might be part and parcel of your purpose, purpose is totally a different proposition. It's about service. It's about transformation. It's about contribution. With a job, the maturity date of payment is always not more than 30 days. Sometimes it's 7 days. With purpose pursuit, it is the gestation period is a totally different ballgame altogether. It can be years, it can be decades. For the most part, it starts with a decade. So if you don't have this understanding, you are doing your purpose so that you can be able to earn from it. And you don't have an understanding that the gestation period of purpose is a decade. You will be impatient real soon. Hmm? And probably three or so years, you will start feeling like the vibe of disillusionment is coming on you. You feel like you're doing the wrong thing. You could be wrong. You could also be right on track. But just a little bit of patience is what is needed. Why? Because you do not understand that it's going to take time. And lastly, you become impatient. Why? Because you have not engaged the dare. It is Roosevelt who said, Far much better it is to dare a mighty thing to win glorious triumphs, even though checked by failure than to take rank with those poor spirits who neither enjoy nor suffer much because they um, they live in a great while that ne- neither knows victory nor defeat. 
it is so difficult to find someone disillusioned who is daring. They are saying I am going to dare. I am a dead person so let me just as well go and do it. A daring person engages what they feel to be an impossibility for them. And this could be part of the purpose pursuit. So living your life on the low just average and just boring enough just about enough invites impatience because there is nothing exciting going on nothing nothing blood rushing going on no adrenaline it's a boring thing the average is so boring you cannot continue and let me just say it again average can be boring but also purpose pursuit itself can be boring the answer sometimes is a dare. Just go on a wild dare. Today I'm going to talk to the CEO of this company and therefore I'm going to start knocking on doors which, whichever doors are going to be opened until I get my opportunity to talk to that CEO. It is exciting that way. The impatience will not be in your side because you are on a dare. When you're impatient, that's how disillusionment sets in. So we've talked about impatience even as we come to a close of this episode today. But if impatience is not one of the reasons as to why you are disillusioned in life, then guess what? Tomorrow we have yet another reason that we're going to talk about that is causing you to be disillusioned. Until then, bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.